Welcome YouTube, Computer Crash Zero here with your third batch file tutorial. Today we're going to be talking about how to make a small little graphic user interface, also known as the GUI. What we're going to be doing is going to look a lot like this. We're going to have three options. We're going to do three different things, as you can see here. Now we're also going to be integrating what we've learned in the past two tutorials. So we're going to be using the echo command. We're going to be setting our variables, and we're going to be declaring those variables to do something. In this case, open Notepad, open up the internet, open up Paint. So let's dive right into this. This is going to be some fun stuff. We're also going to be introducing a new tool. We're going to be using Notepad++ today. I will leave a link in the description below for this. Also, check out my last video on how to install Notepad++. If you've never used this before, definitely want to do that before you do this. Let's dive into this, guys. Are you ready? Once you have Notepad++ open, go, you want to select Language batch. This is automatically going to set it to know it's coding batch files. First line we need to do, just like in our last two tutorials, et echo off. The next line we're going to do is also something new. We're going to be typing in a colon and then menu. So the reason that we're doing this is so we can actually declare a label for this line right here. Next thing we're going to do is type clear or CLS. This is going to clear out everything below because the batch file goes from top to bottom. So the moment you make your first selection, the batch file is going to go back to the top and clear out everything. This is just so it makes it look nice. Next line, we're going to be doing this press one through three to select your task. Now we also are going to work smarter, not harder. So as you may have guessed, I pre-composed this entire batch file prior to making this video. So we're going to simply copy and paste these three lines. So now we're going to paste those in here, press enter couple of times and we're going to declare our option so we're going to be doing the one through three so we're going to hit echo one notepad echo two internet explorer And lastly, Echo 3. Paint. Hit enter a couple of times. Now we need to declare our variables. So in this case, it's going to be 1 through 3. So we're going to go set forward slash p and now we need to declare our variable name. So this can be anything. You can use VAR for short. You can do variable, anything on the keyboard. But you need to make sure you wrap it in a percent sign. So open percent sign, close percent sign. Today I'm going to be using M. And then we're going to follow it up with our message. So we're going to go TY type. 1 through 3, then we are going to go, then press any key, well, in this case not any key, enter, we're telling it to press a specific key. We're going to hit enter a couple of times, now we need to declare number 1, 2, and 3 to actually do something. So the way that we do this is we're going to go if our percent sign, or if our variable, in this case m, equals 1, go to notepad. And 
and we're going to work smarter once again and just copy this. All right, I need to undo that. Sorry guys, my fingers don't want to work today. So we're going to go ahead and paste this in and we're going to change number one to two. And we're also going to go back here and make these variables capital. We want to keep everything consistent. And we're going to change notepad to Internet Explorer. And we're going to put in our third one. So we'll paste that in. Declare this option three. This is going to be paint. Now you see how we made labels for our notepad, Internet Explorer, and our paint option. Just like we did our menu up here, we're going to have to make some more labels. So we're going to hit enter a couple of times. We're going to type in our we're going to type in our first our second label. So we're going to go notepad and then we're going to do start. So anytime you want to open up a program, go to a specific website, you want to use the start command and it literally does its name. It starts this option. We're going to go back over here to our pre-composed file and we're just going to select this and copy it. This is the default location for Notepad on all computers from Windows Vista up to Windows 10. The next thing that we're going to do is type in clear and then we're going to tell it to go to menu. enter a couple of times, declare our next label, in this case Internet Explorer. Let's work smarter guys. Nothing against copying and pasting. As long as it gets the job done. So we're going to type start. Now instead of putting our file path, we're actually going to put a website. So we're going to go www.google.com clear go to yep and go to menu now we're going to conclude everything by doing paint so we're going to declare a label Hit enter, type start, space, go back to our pre-composed file because I'm feeling awfully lazy today and we're going to copy and paste. That is not what I wanted. Why is it not listening to me guys? What did you do to my computer? Well, oh, looks like it was my fault. All right, guys, let's go copy. Is it going to work this time? It worked. Put in our clear command. And our last one is going to be go to menu. We're just going to quickly and visually inspect it, make sure our code is correct. So guys, do you notice the error? Right here. I did not declare my variable and I did not set an equal sign. So here it needs to be capital M equals then our message. That error would have broken the entire script. So now that we've got that fixed, we're going to save this to our desktop. We're going to call it menu2. Make sure you save it as a .bat extension. 
and we're going to close out this guy. Let's open up our second one and begin our testing. So if we hit one, it opens up Notepad. If we hit two, it opens up Google. And if we hit three, it opens up Paint. Now we can go in here and we're going to add a little more. We're going to put a colon at the end of Enter and a space. So we're going to save it, close it, reopen it, and test all over again. So we hit one, it opens Notepad. We hit two, it opens Google. And if we hit three, it opens Paint. Anytime you create a custom script or a custom tool to do something you want, you always want to make sure that you test every option to the best of your ability. Make sure it works. Make sure it does exactly what you want it to. If it breaks, don't get frustrated. Just keep going. Look into your code. It could be something as simple as an extra space, a colon when you need a semicolon, the wrong kind of statement. You just want to make sure that, you know, Ultimately, it functions and does what you want. All right, guys. This is Computer Crash Zero signing out, and I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. If you have, give me a thumbs up. Got any questions, leave them in the comments below. I'm also open to ideas about tutorials, so if you have suggestions, fire away.